supposedly the manufacturer of Expedition Trailers has a five year warranty, but when you actually call their business, oh, what? this is what happens. What? Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. That's a business that supposedly has been in business for two years. That's the phone number you call for warranty. Now, you want to try the dealer. These are those people that are supposed to be helping us fix warranty issues. When you keep calling and calling for weeks and you get no communication back. I like that. When you keep calling for weeks and weeks and you get no communication back, what good is a five year warranty? Uh, we're stuck in Wisconsin. We're having to come out of pocket for uh, incorrectly installed suspension from the manufacturer. When we took it back to them and had them do all those other things, they told us they checked it and it was good to go. Here we are 10,000 miles later and a, another set of BF Goodrich KO2s destroyed because it's not correct. So, um, we're probably going to come out of pocket at a place that knows what they're doing. And then we'll send the invoice to them or um, to see if we can get reimbursed. Um, but other than that, if things keep going the way they're going... Uh, we are probably going to switch trailers and dealers. Um, so it, it's very hard for us to continue to show the trailer and to show the trailer in our social media and YouTube because we absolutely cannot recommend that you buy it. We have found one solution is we just drive to Salt Lake City and drive the trailer right into their shop and their shop foreman and their workers are more than happy to fix everything immediately. They take pride in what they do. It's just uh, communication at the top, just it doesn't happen and there is no care in the world. The responses we've gotten is, you bought it, it's your issue now. Um, hey, uh, we're just gonna consider that normal wear and tear and it's your issue. Um, or flat out when we have water leaking in our trailer that, you know, it's not leaking anybody else's trailer, so we're not concerned. Figure it out. So, the position we're being put in is not a position we want to be in. But, um, here we are. So, we're figuring out what we want to do. We don't want to put these two businesses out of business. And when people do find out how the treatment is happening, not just for us, but for at least three or four or five other owners as well. They're shocked. Um, it's unacceptable behavior on behalf of the manufacturer and on behalf of the dealer. So I know one of you guys mentioned to us the other day that we are still under a year of ownership. We could lemon lot. So, I mean, we have tons of options. Uh, we just got to figure out what we want to do. Not sure. All right, guys. So we are we are here at Truckle Line here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Um, Fixing our suspension <laughs> alignment. So we have been stuck here for a week, um, just over a week, and we are stuck here because our suspension is completely out. We had to stop and get new tires because the inside of our tires were so bald that they said they were no longer safe to have them on the road. Um, we are now here getting our alignment fixed so that does not happen to this set of tires that we just got. Um, we're hoping that they will be able to fix our problem. Uh, so. That's what we're doing here. So Jeremy's unhooking and filling our water tank to make sure that the weight in the trailer is what it needs to be so that the 
um, alignment on our suspension is done correctly. Um, so that's what we are doing. It is pouring rain <laughs> and uh, lightning. So we, we are here. Hopefully they're saying it should take about two to three hours. And um, we're hoping that it fixes our problem. As you can see here, the camber is extremely far out because they never actually did the alignment at Expedition. And the toe is severely out too, which is why there is really bad feathering on the tires. All right, guys. So we have dropped it off here at Altoona, Wisconsin at the truck align. They definitely stated that they know what they're doing with Timberins. Uh, he was severely surprised at the condition that the Timberin was in. Uh, he was not happy with the way that um, it was installed from the factory. He said he can fix all of that. Um, and then they're going to align it, which is fixing the camber and the toe, which was never done. He said it, those bolts have never had anything done to them, even though we've been in the manufacturer's shop twice to have them fix our alignment. And we were told we were good both times. Oh. Why are we stopping? Oh, it's a yellow light, Mom. Yes, but we were rather close to it. So, <laughs> we're going to find... Something to eat. We're going to find something to eat. Uh, they said probably two to three hours. He's got to take He's got to take everything completely off the trailer and install it correctly. So, uh, it's encouraging that uh, they're confident that they can do that, but it's really discouraging because... Uh, the manufacturer should know how to install timber suspension when they put it on every single trailer and telling us twice that they fixed it yeah. is really concerning too because we have lost sets of tires because of this. And so if you have an expedition trailer, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, I kind of highly recommend you take your trailer in to have a Timberin certified alignment person actually look at your alignment and make sure that it's good to go and safe so that you don't lose tires too we know we know multiple owners that are having the suspension issues uh we are the third owner that i'm aware of so far that has went to an outside shop to get the alignment done properly yeah so unfortunately that's something you're probably gonna have to come out of pocket for all right guys we got blaze back and he looks amazing. Let me show you. I'm gonna have to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. But our camber is no longer messed up. Super excited. So thankful that truck a line here in Altoon, Wisconsin. Did an amazing job. Thank you so much, guys. We are so thankful that they were able to get our alignment fixed. It looks amazing. They said that it was super bad. Um, we're thankful that they were able to get it fixed. Uh. All right. Take right to stay on North Hillcrest Parkway, then turn right onto US 12 West. Hey, guys. Take the next right onto US 12 West. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> so. It's not even 10 o'clock and we were able to be rolling out. This is exciting. So they, it is called Truck Align, T-R-U-C-K-A-L-I-N-E, Suspension Center. They align semis, motorhomes, trailers, all of it. They're a certified timber and dealer. They are in Altoona, Wisconsin. Which is right outside of um, Eau Claire. Eau Claire, yeah. And they were incredible. They gave us a bunch of news that we suspected, but because we're not certified Timberin installers, we didn't want to say anything yet. They told us that the manufacturer just slapped the suspension on. They never did any adjustment or anything like that. Even though we've had the trailer into their shop twice. And they said they checked it And they twice. supposedly checked it and it was good twice. Not to so, mention that they're supposed to align it for the trailer that it is put on. 
Yeah, so, they're supposed to do the alignment right before it goes out the door for the trailer weight. Just like any other suspension out there, you can't just slap it on and say, oh, it's good. You do need to align your Timbrin suspension. Even though it's axleless, it does need an alignment to go with whatever it is you're putting it on. So to just slap it on is not is not the way you're supposed to do it. So uh, the camera was extremely out. Um, they fixed that and they made sure that we had full weight in here so it could be zero at full weight. Yeah. And then as we go lighter, it goes a little bit positive. Um, but we do tend to run full most of the time, so. So Lee and his guys back in the shop, they took care of us very quickly. They said um, that they'd never seen uh, timber and suspension put on like this and or be out this bad. Uh, yeah. So that is a little discouraging for the rest of you owners out there that are having these same issues with the Timberin and we're all being ghosted by the manufacturer and or dealer. So we recommend you go to a third party shop that is Timberin certified yes. and get your suspension done and then go back to the manufacturer and get reimbursed. Although we can't verify that they will reimburse because as of right now, we have not gotten hours reimbursed. All we can tell you is you should ask because this is something that they should be doing and they're not. And this so. is a, and this is a new, this is a known issue with their trailers. So, um, we are now headed West. We are supposed to be in Bend, Oregon for <laughs> Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. We have vendors sitting there waiting on us. We have other business partners that are shipping parts there for us. Yeah. Um, with our partnerships and affiliates with them, they're getting parts sent to that show so we can pick them up. So we are scrambling to get that direction quickly. However, having to come out of pocket for a brand new set of KO2s that are load range E is not cheap. And having to come out of pocket for the timber and alignment out of pocket has basically zapped the majority of our fuel money to get all the way out there. So we're gonna have to figure something out. Um, with fuel prices, make, we're not with, sure we'll make yeah, it. Yeah, with fuel prices out there, we're not sure we're gonna make it to Pacific Northwest. Which is really disappointing. Which would be a big problem because that starts to affect our business relationships as well as our relationships with a lot of other influencers. We're supposed to meet a bunch of other influencers there and do some collaboration stuff. We definitely are supposed to be there and this shouldn't have happened and this took about this took about eight hundred to a thousand dollars out of our fuel bill yeah, to like get there. So we are not sure we're gonna make it. Um we're still gonna try. We're gonna see what we can do. We're heading that way and we'll get as far as we can. And then we will, if we make it to the show, we're going to get in front of both the manufacturer and the dealer. They're both going to be at that show. We're going to get in front of them and hash out how the reimbursement is going to happen um, or any of that situation. Um, we will definitely keep we'll you guys up to speed on that because we know some of you are also waiting on either the dealer or the manufacturer for reimbursement for stuff. So we will let you know for sure but thanks for following along guys super super happy with lee and his guys from truck align in altoona wisconsin um super pleased with it the trailer is pulling so so nice now yes. it is riding so so nice now uh everything looks good they were um like we said they were shocked hold on jeffy they were shocked at the install from the uh, manufacturer appreciate you guys following along leave comments to let us know what issues you're having with your expedition trailer um, or issues you're having with X grid campers the dealer even if you don't have an expedition if you're having issues with X grid we want to hear about that as well so we already know we're not the only ones having these issues the more and more owners we talk to and the more and more people we talk to that have purchased from x -grade campers is the same issues across the board hey guys so we're gonna wrap this up we gotta hit the road we gotta make some serious time to make our obligations 
and hopefully our gas money stretches that far. We'll see. But that's it for this video, guys. We're on to the next adventure.